Dark, his name is Rodo, a composer, a human vegetable, and a complete outsider. Let's open the discussion with you. What gives that look of revelation on the athlete's face? A complete outsider is the center of attention. Just what is a human vegetable doing in the psychology? The freak is eating the mass murder. Oh my god, I find this is a reality in our position. They're into being open up to stall. This is the worst thing that's happened to mankind. And in the studio, the puppet run you dark age, but your commentator has got his life is in Is uncertain. The grave is God's dying When I die, bury me here. To the memory of deposited beneath the stone. Friends. Death. Here lies buried the body of life is short. <laughs>
put on the semblance of man, the waxen mask on the road that hides and come down from the world of seven suns to mock. We are spies, I'm painting all the old old days, we're just ancestral families. The cedars of your the broken rungs, there's a torrent in town, shadowy staircases.
us, weird sister, one of us, a loving cup, a loving cup, gooble gabble, gooble gabble, gooble gabble, gooble gabble. I dream of Only what he did with this talent was a shame and a caution and an eldritch horror. If he'd only gotten the hell out of his auntie's attic and obtained a job with the Federal Writers Project of the WPA, he could have turned out guidebooks that would have been classics and joys to read forever. Only he stayed up there muffled up to the tip of his long gone New England chin against the cold which lay more in his heart than his thermometer, living on 19 cents worth of beans a day, only writing for pennies the crappy manuscripts of writers whose complete illiteracy would have been a boon to all mankind. Ah, but life is a boon. And producing ghastly, grisly, ghoulish, and horrifying works of his own, as well of man-eating things which foraged in graveyards, of human beastie crosses which grew beastier and beastlier as they grew older, of gibbering shoggoths and elder beings which smelt real bad, and were always trying to break through thresholds and take over, ruckus, squamous, amorphous nasties abetted by thin, gaunt New England eccentrics who dwelt in attics and who eventually were never seen or heard from again. Serve them damn well right, I say. In short, how it was a twitch, boys and girls, and that's all there is to it. safe fantasia immortality of the unobtainable.
Snuffer, coffee house, and blood, and you've heard and decadent blue. Make life on our farm, we have no red coats today. We were blind men of bodies or adults, and we're brave here in the dark. Sucking stuffings, and burning the evil city, and over back there. Who's sorry, but what is allowed so loud? And the anti-war, and we'll leave in dialogue, and anyone else, but I'm gonna make sure you pray. Take any English book, a person, all the red, and one, two, three, and all the way. You're like a butt, one, two, three, 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 Charles Woodwell. I am the great I am. It seemed like a damn futile business to keep on living. No more tutors, high school next September, which would probably be a devilish bore since one couldn't be free and easy as one had been during brief snatches at the neighborly Slater Avenue School. Oh hell, why not slough off consciousness altogether? The whole life of man and of the planet was a mere cosmic second, so I couldn't be missing much. The method was the only trouble. I didn't like the messy exits and dignified ones were hard to find. Really good reasons were hard to get. Those in my clinical laboratory, I re-established this institution in the basement of a new place were crude and painful. But it was factory and unreliable hanging was ignominious. Daggers were messy unless one could arrange to open a risk vein in a bowl of warm water. And even that had its drawbacks despite good run and pressure. Thoughts on my cliff are possibly vulgar in view of the probable state of remains. Well, what tempted me most was the warm, shallow, regrown bank and river down the east shore of the bay. I used to go there on my bicycle and look speculatively at it. That summer I was always on my bicycle. She kept me away from home as much as possible since my abode reminded me of the home I had lost. How easy it would be to wade out among the rushes and lie face down in the warm water till oblivion came. There would be a certain gurgling or choking unpleasantness at first, but it would soon be over. Then the long, peaceful night of non existence. What I enjoyed from the mythical start of eternity till the 20th of August, 1890. More and more I looked at the river on drowsy, sun golden summer afternoons. I liked to think of the beauty of sun and blue river and green shore and distant white steeple as enfolding me at last. It would be as if the element of mystical cosmic beauty were dissolving. And yet certain elements, notably scientific curiosity and the sense of world drama, held me back. Much in the universe baffled me, yet I knew I could pry the answers out of books if I lived and studied longer.
like to count up Elliot. You do not realize how much I appreciate you. It is caught early enough. Hmm. Cause a number of industries are growing enough, right?
Put swear on a pin on your tires, Jess. Just swear on a pin on your image instant, Jess. of the Black Star Military Band. Made exactly the right cacophony. Even now I manage the old timing maps these when they're revived on the radio. But they recall the lost divisions and optimisms of their initial modulations. 50-year-old bugs were in old dead state in these Eric Zan's files. Eric Zan's file! He made your answer quality all its own harsh, fierce and strong. He shall enjoy the big skeptics and the and the extremes of white black whilst we mortals must confine ourselves to the form that is truly in a spectrum. Primal primary colors. We are the man lying in front of the funeral pole. We are the Archimorphosis drunk and run. The oldest and strongest emotion of mankind is fear. Bergson said that by studying maps, pictures, guidebooks, and plans of Paris, it is possible to discern the weight of monuments, the height of statues, the distance between landmarks, and the like. But that any amount of such contemplative visualization is vastly inferior to a ten-minute walk along one of the great city's magnificent boulevards. I have been in Paris in company with Paul and Henri. If I were to think of an angry man, we'd mention being home with me, the last thing I'd come with. And if I did, I'd probably just miss the reader. Some people call them down, there's no sign of that. And on a penthouse, I'm sure, it's my own relation. It was right there, even right now, she'd be yours. It'd be free for our news, and nobody would pay me nothing. If you're on PC, what an ugly lump of me. Oh, well, it's that season. I've seen an ink meat and scrap room. It's in my ear, Pino. Come back for that. Whoa! Well, they take all the noises you made in the world, eat them, spill them, regurgitate them, make sweet them, bury them, shoot them off to the start. Thunderous music, hemispherical cosmic temple. Execute our extraordinary proficiency by the 40 artists. Then she gusting turbulence, ye gods, I've been tritons, I must away me to confession. Well, say, it is a little intonation. And I died singing this song. Henry was giving his mother a good fuck.